Now we're going to draw a graph from a map. Draw a graph that models the bordering relationships among the countries shown in the map. Use vertices to represent the countries and edges to represent common borders. And so we have a map of a portion of Europe and we're going to label N for the Netherlands, B for Belgium, we have G for Germany, we have L for Luxembourg, F for France, S for Switzerland, and A for Austria. Let's just begin with France. France borders Belgium, so we'll draw an edge between the vertices F and B. France shares a border with Luxembourg, so we're going to connect with an edge. France shares a border with Germany. We'll draw in another edge. France also shares a border with Switzerland, and so we have an edge going to S. Now let's continue around. We're going to go next to Belgium. Belgium already has the, the border with France taken care of. It also borders Luxembourg. And we have a border with Germany. And we have a border with Netherlands. On to the Netherlands. We have common borders with Belgium and Germany. To Germany, we have a common border with the Netherlands, with Belgium, which we're taken care of, with Luxembourg, which we need, with France, with Switzerland, and with Austria. Luxembourg has common borders with Germany, Netherlands, which need to be drawn in. Oh, not with Le Netherlands, sorry, it's not connected. With Belgium, though, which is already there. With France, we have that. Austria needs to be connected to Germany with a common border and to Switzerland. And finally, Switzerland should have an edge between itself and Austria, Germany, and France, and we have those in the graph. And so this would be the graph that depicts the bordering relationships.